Alright kids, this is a review of ScreenBrush. Why am I doing this for a $3.99 program? Well, why not? It's actually not just the review of this, it's a couple of thoughts on other programs and this, and a reason why you might not want to buy it. So this is the way this works. This is ScreenBrush. You can draw on your screen. Now the first thing to note, uh, the interface, like here's a bunch of junk I was playing with earlier. You can actually toggle it. So this does not record your, or, I'm sorry, let me, let me back up a little bit. Some programs record a window. Like right now I'm recording the entire screen just using QuickTime Player, not just the window of the browser that we're looking at. So you can see all my junk up there, all my icons and, I, and stuff. You want to record your entire screen to use ScreenBrush because if you record the window, this is like an overlay. It's only going to record the window open under there. So right now you'd only be recording that browser window, whatever you see on the web browser. Record your screen, not your window. Now the reason you would not want to buy this is if you only do Zoom meetings. Zoom meetings have their own annotation tools built in that look like they pretty much duplicated this. However, if you're using like OBS Labs, which I don't believe has any built-in screen annotation tools. It's pretty good for that if you're sharing, again, your screen, uh, so not your window. Important distinction to make. So let's take a look at it. Let's walk through the interface real quick. Uh, it's pretty standard stuff. I'm actually just going to use the mouse at first, and I'm going to delete all the junk that's on there. And you can bring that back if you want. You could be like, oh no, just so Command Z. This is obviously on a Macintosh. You can also bring back several layers. There's probably a redo. Anyway, that's what it looks like when you click the mouse. So you've got the various tools. You've got a spotlight. That's kind of neat. If you just wanted to highlight something without drawing on the screen, you'd be like, no, right here. And you can change the size and shape of all that. Uh, you can move the toolbar around. Uh, arrows. Arrows begin. And I'm going to switch over to my pen here. I have a cheap little tablet. So you, they begin right where you point it. So if you want to go right up there and point there. See that arrow? Yep, that one. If you like it, subscribe so that you can help support me because I am underemployed at the moment. If you like and subscribe, you'll get a notification. I'm going to be reviewing a different pen with this older Monoprice tablet. This Monoprice tablet is like years old, but it uses a UC Logic uh, hardware. So the old driver, believe it or not, from ancient history still works on, this is Mac OS 10.14 Mojave. Lord knows how old that driver is. I think it's like eight years old. Still works. So hopefully UC Logic drivers will keep working with this tablet if I ever move beyond 10.14. Uh, you got squares, you got text. Uh, there's more than three thicknesses tool to this. It gives it a drop down. So ultralight. Let's play with the pen for a second. So here's the pen. Um, and if you, you text, I want text, sorry. I want that. If I want to draw something on the screen, like this is real light pressure. And then there's a heavier pressure. It doesn't do much in ultralight. So I just want to demonstrate this. Let's do light. And you still have the lightness, but then you can really bear down and highlight on it. So this does recognize that the pen that I'm using has different levels of pressure. So you can kind of go back and forth here on that. So that, that could be handy. So I guess you could use like the, the smallest one and be like, okay, no, this right here. No, this is a tiny one. Tiny, tiny. And then really emphasize anyway. Rainbow colors, ew, rainbow colors. Yeah, uh, your pin or your color wheel. This is interesting. This is like a, a time lapse fade. So let's get a good color in there. Let's get some rainbow colors in there. Some beautiful, happy rainbow colors. See how when you draw, it just goes through the spectrum. And eventually, if you wait, I think that I have this set to a slow fade. It slowly fades away. So that could be fun. You draw stuff and you're emphasizing things and 
you know, like this and that, and eventually it fades away. So, neato. Uh, let's turn that off. You got a hand tool here, you got text, big deal, you type in blah blah blah. And then you want to move it, grab the hand tool, move it around. So, that's about it for this program. I appreciate the like and subscribes. We're going to have some more on this topic of uh, tablets and pens. And this was the cheap mono price pen. I'm going to say real quick before I go, I don't think the uh, the Jaggies are reflective of the mono price or of the program. It's probably more the, the mono price uh, pen. But again, like and subscribe because later we're going to be looking at a newer pen from a different company that uses the same UC Logic hardware. These are battery powered pens, so I'm thinking this should work by a mono price tablet. So it's going to be interesting to see if this, if the cheapo pen is the cause of the jaggies or maybe it's the tablet, which I probably will never know because I'm probably not going to get a different tablet. Or if this newer, neater pen uh, that was a little more expensive and probably looks like to be a better quality if that's what it was. So again, I don't think this is the program. Because um, when you draw with a mouse, it's nice and smooth, so it's not that. Yeah, these are nice and smooth, and if I go back to the pen over here, see how it's all jaggy, no matter how move, how smooth I move it, move it. So, I don't know if that's the pen just being inconsistent, or if there's just not that many digitization points on the tablet, see, anyway. Like and subscribe. You'll learn more than you ever want to know about this stuff as I go into excruciating detail. Thanks for watching. Help me out. I'm underemployed. Like and subscribe, please. See ya.